If I die today, I'ma go and get some money. If I die today, I'ma go and get some money. If I die uh, today, if I die yeah. today. Cold flows for a cold mind, see a new world, but I'm so blind. Kick rocks when your time's up, better start digging like a cold mind. Cold heart, seen cold times, it's a bold move, but the sunshine raises up when you. Good morning, V Chain family. It's Satoshi Boomin coming at you with another video. Guys, I'm gonna need you to hit that subscribe button. The views on this channel have been doing quite well the past couple of days. The bull run is currently still in effect, guys. Don't let anybody tell you any different. I got my hot tea and honey a lot and loaded ready to go. Let's get this show started, guys. Let's run these likes up on the channel, guys. For every like on the channel, I will buy half of each chain and I'll show proof on Friday. All right, guys. So for every like on this video right here, I will buy one half of V chain. Okay, <laughs> so six cents for every like, <laughs> and uh, at, at the time of me making this video, so V chains at about twelve cents. So if we get to I don't know a thousand likes on this video, I will put in five hundred dollars worth of V chain. So we'll we'll do it like that. All right. So whatever amount of likes we get on this video, I'll put half in the dollar amount into V chain and I will post it on Friday. That seems like a good thing. So hit that like button, smash that thumbs up button guys, smash that subscribe button for me. Let's get right onto the show. We got some explosive news. I am doing this video a bit early, so I will put this out in the morning. So the price could be changing um, at any point. So uh, let's just keep that in mind. Uh, when I put this video out, V chain could go up or it could go down, but right now it looks like we're at 11.6%. Coins are moving, guys. Once Shiba Inu exploded, we've got other coins exploding now too, right behind them, all right? I hope you didn't sell, hope you didn't panic sell all your V chain into whatever coin, shit coin plus. Like a lot of people were saying in my comment section, you know, for a while it got a little bit down there, but we're starting to see uh, a little bit of shift in sentiment. Now, this could change again. You know, if I wake up tomorrow morning, once this video comes out and, you know, VJ's back down to 10 cents, this whole thing could be moot. But as of right now, we're up about 11.6% on the day, guys, and coins are moving. Um, we got some good news out fresh off the presses, not only for VeChain, but as crypto as a as a whole. Uh, apparently, China has relinquished the Bitcoin mining hash rate to the USA. That is huge news. Now, America is the largest uh, Bitcoin mining uh, in the world now. We've beaten China. China has cracked down. China is no longer uh, interested in Bitcoin, and that is good. You know, we don't need China. We don't need them. Let them stay out of it. Let them continue to be poor. Let them continue to have, you know, uh, issues that, you know, crypto can solve and will solve. The digital revolution is occurring. Let them be left behind. But back to VeChain, guys. We see a, we're starting to see a shift here in sentiment change as Bitcoin rises. Um, and I think that's going to continue. I think that's going to continue. Now, why the pump for today? Well, we got some good news here. The B Chain Foundation posts one of the biggest logistics companies uh, in the world, B Chain. Okay, so what does this mean? One of the biggest uh, companies of the world, logistics companies in the world, may be working with B Chain at some point. Now, that has not been announced yet, but let's just do a little bit of a digging. Okay. Now, we don't have to get too crazy with this, so let me turn off Discord. Sorry. All right. So, we don't have to get too deep into this. Let's just stick with the top 10. I, I, I pulled up a top 40, but I think that would make the video li literally an hour long. So, I decided to just pull up this top 10 list of the top logistics companies by revenue. Now, one of the biggest logistics companies in the world... Partnering with VeChain. Well, we have some of these partnerships already under our belt. This tweet here says, this is by VeChain Insider. Uh, go ahead and follow uh, them on Twitter ASAP. But they say, a major international company to announce they are using VeChain for their NFTs in the next few days. Um, VET, Vito, Dollar, 
one dollar VET that is definitely the goal guys so let's go back here let's take a look at the top 10 logistic companies by revenue and let's try to speculate where we can go here now obviously guys I don't have to tell you that if V chain partners with UPS I think V chain will go to a dollar literally like <laughs> within a couple weeks um, I don't have to tell you that UPS obviously is the largest logistics company in the world um, I mean 74.69 billion dollars of revenue um, in and out uh, everybody uses UPS a lot of people use the UPS uh, they literally took over uh, the damn postal service now you know so UPS obviously is the biggest in the world they're number one again 74.9 billion dollars in revenue um, they started <laughs> Uh, with a hundred dollars the company began in 1907 as a small business service in Seattle just goes to show you guys that with perseverance and long-term planning believing in yourself believing and have conviction in your product or brand will eventually bring fruit uh, there was somebody in my um, comment section I forgot your name brother I apologize but he's been asking me what books have I been reading and uh, some of the books that I've been reading well one of them is the compound effect the other one is can't hurt me by David Goggins and another one is called influence and how people get influenced by certain things and one of the one of a key phrase in the compound effect that I really really liked is that it's called the law of averages you know eventually if you try hard enough long enough eventually something will break into your favor guys and that's what I truly believe you know being in crypto long enough I truly believe you'll get rich now I know I'm not supposed to say that this is not financial advice obviously don't randomly listen to a random person on YouTube please just don't FOMO in because a random person on YouTube says so but anything can happen all right like let's be serious here crypto can go to zero but <laughs> the law of averages in my humble opinion um, if you're into something long enough and you're passionate enough for it eventually you'll break through eventually you'll win okay don't forget the creator of KFC didn't get rich until he was in his like 60s so perseverance always wins Jack Ma I think he got fired from like McDonald's or something you know what I mean so let's just remember that all right that was a tangent so UPS now we got DHL group there was a lot of speculation that V chain was working with DHL however uh, they do showcase a little bit of uh, I think we did a little bit of work with DHL and they showcase us a little bit um, in in one of their virtual like 3d things I, I gotta go pull that up again uh, OG's know what I'm talking about but um, we we don't have an official partnership with DHL I don't believe um, but they know who we are and we have been linked to them in many many cases as we can see here DHL is a German company that was founded in the United States DHL Air Cargo began operations in 1969 and by the late 1970s its business has grown to provide services all around the world so DHL is the second largest logistics company in the world with revenue of about 63.3 billion it could be DHL guys I know that again we have been linked with DHL in the past uh, I believe he changed a part of their innovation center like experimental technologies that they kind of showcase and kind of play with in their pilot section but no official partnership has been released just yet um, so this would obviously be big I don't have to tell you how big that would be moving on guys FedEx would also be a huge partnership if it was FedEx uh, they have revenue of 69.27 billion um, Kuhn and Nagel never heard of these guys but they uh, began forwarding commission agency for cotton and other combined freight in Berman Germany in 1890 it evolved into a Swiss holding company with interests in sea freight air freight logistics contact logistics 
overland transportation and the latter half of the 12th century with emphasis on IT based logistics solutions. They have a revenue of about 21 billion. Uh, we got Nippon Express. We have heard of Nippon Express. They have been linked in talks with VeChain before as well, but nothing has come up of it with this either. Um, not that I'm aware of. Please, guys, I'm wrong all the time. Please correct me at any moment. Don't feel bad to correct me and say, hey, Boomin, you're wrong as hell. You know, I, you know, I take in so much information every day that sometimes I get a little confused. So if I do, please comment, correct me down below if you so choose. These guys have revenue of about $19 billion as well. Uh, D.B. Schechner, we are actually partnered with D.B. Schechner. We do have a partnership with D.B. Schechner that was confirmed. Uh, so this this is probably not going to be D.B. Schechner. Uh, they're a logistics division of Deutsche Bahn AG, a German rail group. They partnered with VeChain, I believe, and again, correct me if I'm wrong, back in 2020. Uh, they have a revenue of about $19.42 billion. Obviously, I don't think they're going to announce re-announce that. We got XPO Logistics with a revenue of about uh, $16.3 billion. And they are established in, uh, let's see, where are they at? Oh, they have about 1,500 sites in over 30 countries, so definitely a wide reach. DSV Palimpina, never heard of these guys. They're a Danish logistics company that provides services in road, sea, air, and uh, in road, rail, sea, and air transportation. And they were established in 1976 with their annual revenue of 14.2 billion. Nippon Yuskin, NYK, Japanese shipping company, owned by the Mitsubishi Corporation with a revenue of 16.5 billion. And then lastly, we got CJ Logistics, a South Korean logistics firm headquartered in Seoul, established in 1930, with a revenue of about $13.42 billion. So guys, uh, on this list here, what do you think it could be? It, it could be this list. As a matter of fact, one second, one second. You know, as a matter of fact, I just decided to pull it up here, guys. Here's the top 50, all right? So I'm not going to read all this off, but... If we scroll down, let's just see if you can uh, recognize any of these. Obviously, we know DHL. We talked about the top 10 here. But uh, JB Hunt, I've heard of. Uh, it could be any of these. Any of these companies here with revenues in the billions. Um, Apex Logistics. Kind of sounds like Apex uh, Legends. FedEx Logistics, amongst others. So... Guys, what do you think? Comment down below what you guys think could be the next VeChain uh, partnership, the next major VeChain partnership, which could be re one of the many reasons why VeChain is pumping right now. Again, once this video comes out, a lot of the prices could be changed and we could have the announcement, but uh, they did say that they would be announcing it in a couple of days. So could be today, could be tomorrow, could be whenever. Uh, but yeah, guys, it is what it is. And uh, we're so excited. Congratulations to VeChain here. Nothing's changed on my end. We're literally stacking and chilling, guys. I know it's boring. I know it ain't hype, 100x, 1000x type stuff, but it is what it is. So taking a look here, guys. Uh, 984 day, 894 days. Wow. Again, guys, hit that like button. I'm buying, you know, half of VeChain for every dollar. So, um for every like <laughs> so go ahead and hit that like for me let's run these likes up let's get this video out there let's get this video pushed i love each and every one of you guys let's go um taking a look at the uh, markets as a whole here bitcoin's doing well it's moving up guys we could probably cross 60k hopefully we cross 60k by the time you know the morning hits and you guys are watching this video that would be great um but it remains to be seen. Got uh, Polkadot pumping again. More coins pumping like crazy. Things are going to be violent. There's going to be violent price action up up in the second half of this bull run. V chain doing well right now. Curve Dow token doing well right now. There's a lot of coins doing well. All right, guys. So let's just keep the faith. Keep stacking and chilling. I love you guys.
hit that like button for me if you want to see me buy a big old chunk of V-Chain. And I love you guys so much. Take care.